Internet drama is sometimes some of the most stupid, stupid juice to ever come from the stupid bottle from stupid Valhalla. It is just dumb- I'll kill you. It usually consists of dumb arguments made by dumb people who just want to start drama for the sake of drama and getting that sweet, sweet internet moolah. And this is no exception to that rule. Recently, there was this huge drama that happened about a week ago with a YouTuber named In Praise of Shadows. And essentially, what this YouTuber decided to do was start some beefs, a little bit of that uh, internet beef. Who did he start it with? Everybody, it looks like. Now the thing is with this entire thing, it's, it's practically over by this point. It seems like In Praise of Shadows has... Well, spoiler alert, he didn't exactly win any kind of prize. He didn't get any kind of medal to go home with. And there's something to be said about beating a dead horse and also punching down. But this whole thing was just so crazy that I, I I have to talk about it. To say where it all started would be kind of difficult considering that he's kind of been going around, you know, going around, giving everybody a little bit of a hua hua, the, the, the knuckle sandwich of, you know, that good old fighting the bad people. For example, there's one internet user named Brandon Buckingham who has quite the following and in praise of Shadow decided to spread the narrative that, hey, this guy, he's friends with a gun YouTuber, and this guy, that gun YouTuber, oh boy. He's part of an extremist group. He's friends with him, we gotta get him, we've gotta stop him. And the thing is with that, it's just not true. Because he didn't really provide any evidence of that, and in fact, the evidence that he decided to use was one video. And Brandon Buckingham, he, he went over the entire thing already, in fact, he's went over it multiple times, so if you want to get his side of the story, I recommend that you watch it. Why am I watching a video? Because the videos that In Praise of Shadows decide to use was just one video. That's it. Nothing more to it. And then another YouTuber named Wendigoon came to his rescue, and that kind of started the tirade of In Praise of Shadows going after Wendigoon. In fact, you want to know, you want to know exactly who he's went after? In Praise of Shadows has gone after Brandon Buckingham, Donut Operator, Grand Thumb, Some Ordinary Gamers, Internet Historian, Shoe on Head, Oompaville, Turkey Tom, and Brandon Herrera. And these are not small-time guppies. He's he's not you know getting the pickings like I'm gonna go after you, go after you. These are these are big, massive channels that he decided to go after, and it did not turn out the way that he would hoped. Because as you can imagine, when you go a if you go after one giant YouTube channel, you know you're already in a pretty big fight. You're, you have to deal with all those fans that are going to immediately come to the defense of that YouTuber, and it's just not a good show. And he not only did that, but he did that several times. So as you can imagine, it just, it just kind of turned into an all-out bloodbath. But the worst part about all of it for In Praise of Shadows is that what, what did he use as his grand thing? What's the evidence that he used to prove that these people are no good and that they're, they're dangerous, and if you follow them, then you're a bad person, and you need- <laughs> Disgusting. How dare you have opinions? How dare you follow somebody that isn't me in praise of shadows? Well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. His, his source is opinions and just bad sources. And the big problem that a lot of people had with in praise of shadows during this entire debacle is that no sources or bad sources was exactly what he used. In fact, every single time that he was going after these types of channels, it was always the same thing. This YouTuber, he, they're, they're a part of an extremist group and they need to be stopped. The thing is, he just doesn't provide any evidence of that. Like with Wendigoon, he was quoted saying before the video got taken down that, oh yeah, Wendigoon seems like a nice, nice Christian YouTuber, but he's not. In real life, he's, he's a, he's a bad person. He's got, he's got the devil on his side. You, we gotta stop him. And he just doesn't really provide any sources for it. It's just him speaking his opinion in front of the camera, kind of like how I'm doing right now, and not really providing any sources. And Praise of Shadows realized that they made a very, very bad mistake. And because of that, he decided to delete all of his videos. So if you want to go find it, it's not on his YouTube channel anymore. Are there re-uploads? Oh yeah, you betcha there are re-uploads. And it just doesn't look good. In Praise of Shadows took a massive L and is now taking a break from YouTube, is what he claims. And that's really it. And the thing is with this whole situation is that throughout the entire thing, every single person that In Praise of Shadows attacked and wanted to go after, they kind of, they bore it with grace. Were they upset? Yeah, absolutely, because they were being slandered. 
with no real evidence behind it to really back up any of the claims that In Praise of Shadows was making, and frankly, it would be disingenuous to go over all of it, because each and every single video, while kind of similar, the claims are pretty much similar, just wild accusations with no evidence, I, I would encourage you to go watch all of these videos that I will try to put on screen if you watch these videos, you'll be able to get the point of view from the person that In Praise of Shadows was attacking. And despite all of this, it's, it's just so bizarre the way that In Praise of Shadows kind of made his grand slam attack on these YouTube channels. Reason being is because throughout the entire thing, he's been quoted saying, you know what, it's okay to put your opinion out there. You can go, go put your opinion out there. It's gonna be okay. You do you. And then immediately does a 180 is like, hey, you can't post that. That's bad. I don't like your opinions, and so I'm going to destroy you. And then it just does a 180, and then poof, destroyed. In Praise of Shadows, Shadow boxed himself and lost. And there's a couple examples I'd like to go over very, very briefly. For example, Donut Operator. His big thing on YouTube is reviewing cop videos. That's kind of what he does. He used to be an ex-cop, so it makes sense. He's got experience. He's got he's got the inside tea. <laughs> delicious. But apparently, to In Praise of Shadows, that's a no, 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 no. You can't do that because you're supporting the state. You're, you're supporting these bad cops by reviewing body cam footage, which is something that is very highly valued by the public because you get to see the inside working of cases and cops and what they do when they're in the middle of stuff. And one of the videos that he decided to go over as his prime example of why Donut Operator is a bad person is because of this one video. And it's a video I don't want weather, no, go away. It's a video of Donut Operator reacting to somebody getting shot by police. A pedophile being shot by police, and apparently the thumbnail was no bueno. Listen, I get it. People dying, it's upsetting. It's a very upsetting thing to see, but it's a very real thing to see. And of all the videos that you could have picked, because he's, he's made a lot of videos Donut Operator is, and if you want to pick and choose a video to claim as, aha, I got you, you could have picked so many. The one with the pe with the pedophile dying is probably not the one that you want to pick, but you know, that's just me. So that was something that I found extremely peculiar as something that you want to use as your case. And the funny thing about all of this is that, circling back to Wendigoon, who he really went after for a while, even after In Praise of Shadows took the massive L and cowered away from the internet and a into absolute darkness and obscurity, Wendigoon made a very, very public statement saying, hey, let's not go after this guy. He's been through a lot. How about we just back off? How about we just stop attacking him? I don't want my community to attack him. I think that's just proof that Wendigoon is just an absolute piece of crap. I mean, how dare he? He really is an extremist. We need to, we need to stop Wendigoon right now. So in a really weird twist, in Praise's shadow attempt, it's mouthful, in his attempt to kind of show that these people are bad people, he pretty much in the most part, kind of brought out the best characters in a lot of people. Are, would some people clown on him? Yeah, absolutely. He, he made an absolute fool of himself. But then some people walked away with absolutely massive Ws. But as I said, I, I really don't want to get too much deeper into it because there's like a thousand videos about this entire situation. But I, I do think it's important to kind of point out it's important to do thorough research before you do anything. And listen, I'm, I'm no saint when it comes to that. I've had several videos in the past where I find out that the information that I put out there is wrong. Not to like a, a, a damning slanderous degree like In Praise of Shadows did, but I got information wrong. For example, I, when I went over Garden of Ban Ban or, or, or Bon Bon, however you want to pronounce it, and why I still don't like that video game series, I made the mistake. I made the mistake of saying that there were more games out there than there was. I thought that there was like, I don't I don't quite remember like five and there ended up being like only like three or four. Now there's five, so eventually I, what I said was true, but it wasn't true at the time. So that was a lie. Have I said opinions that have upset people? Sure, when I went, when I went after Vince McMahon, a lot of people got upset, even though he is kind of a kind of a POS. I really stirred the WWE fandom. Regardless, I've had situations where I've bitten the bull and say, you know what? You're right. I get comments, hey, you got this wrong. What do you do? You say, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't know that. You respond, you apologize, you bite the bullet, and you move on. You don't say things that are absurdly out of the blue or just inherently wrong, because then that's considered lying, and nobody wants to watch you if you're lying. Suffice it to say, this YouTube channel in Praise of Shadows has managed to damn their entire channel within the span of one week, about, and it's almost impressive to see. Will he come back? Probably. Will he recover? Probably not. He, 
he went after some pretty big fish and got devoured. But we'll see what happens. All in all, this has just been a very, very interesting story to keep hold of, and it just kind of shows why some internet drama is just stupid, because it started for stupid reasons by people who did not do thorough research, which is stupid. But that's it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. If indeed you still are, my name is Broxter, and I bid you all adieu.